Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Zilas Chevalier, and you're welcome back to Celaris with all the deals on. Sorry for the light. But I don't have another one. <laughs> so my face is gonna be like super bright. Super bright. Well, uh whatever oh, shit. Really, it's the only light I have though. <laughs> I hate it. Well, what are we gonna do? So 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 so. This is the light with all the DLC. You might have buy all the DLCs on the go, every single one of them. So we're gonna hit new game, okay? We're gonna hit new game. Okay, you're gonna uh, but let's go for like a like I say in my last video. Let's create a new empire. Let's go out. Well, now you have all of this. You can, you can choose whatever you like. Go for one of the toxoids, this one over here, because I love them. No, Necroid, I mean, and not toxoids. There are well, a lot of them that are actually super cool. Like really cool. Like if, if you you have all the DLCs, you can choose whatever you want. Let's go for this one. This is super cool. Let's go. Name, whatever. Um, this thing. Let's leave it in. Let's look for one that is actually. Where is the freaking aquatic? Equ freaking alphabetical order. They go for this one. Silver the water. <laughs> Bad luck, Charlie. Oh, I love it. This is completely. This is completely. This is completely theme around pirates. Love it. Let's go for it. Aquatic. Really cool. Let's go for that one. Okay. Like I say. Intelligent, but now, ladies and gentlemen, because you have the DLC, you will have a couple more of this. Just a couple, not necessarily a lot, but a couple more. So, um, first time, incubators. Kind of cool, I will say. It will get, it will allow you to like kickstart a colony really fast. At the minus ten percent growth speed, you can actually counteractive, counteractive, like go against it just by getting. Two techs. I believe it's actually one and one building. And that should do it, and you will have like 0% pop growth uh, modifier in the plan. So I will say go for incubators because of the freaking growth speed. Between 30% and 10% pop growth speed, inversely proportional to the number of pops on the planet. Which is really freaking good. So go for incubators. It's good. Then I will say, Jinx, I will not touch this one yet. <coughs> but the other one, like I say, the best one is Deviants, and then I will say, well, Solitary or Weak, whichever you prefer. And after that, go for Intelligent. There you go. Here you have your freaking your beautiful empire you can choose. Because we are like an aquatic thing, let's go for an ocean world, why not? Let's go next. City Appearance, choose the one you like the most. Aquatic looks beautiful. Then, we have Origins, now you have a lot of them. You have like a freaking lot of them, so which one are you going to choose in order to, you know, have the best start or have the most interesting start? I will say Mechanist Mechanist is really good. Really, really good. Because you started with the technology power accelerator and robotic workers, which are really, really good. Plus mechanical pop assembly speed plus 50%. A mechanical species trait plus one. Really good. Really good indeed. This one is really good, actually, for starting. And the wheel that we're gonna do, actually, will not necessarily have... A, I mean, because you have Synthetic Dawn over here, it should be... Uh, here, Synthetic Dawn DLC. This means that you're gonna have... The possibility of an AI uprising will be real, okay? It's not a good, it's not a good time to be alive when that happens. Really not. If it happens, if it happens in your empire, it's basically random. You don't have a... You don't have power to control that, as far as I know. So, I will just say, go for Mechanist, and the ethics that we're gonna pick now are going to basically make the AI Rebellion impossible, because you're going to grant the machines citizen rights. Once you have done that, everything should be okay. So, Mechanist. Really good, like I say. Mechanical pop assembly speed especially. This is really, really good. After that, there is another one that is actually really good. Uh, it's Sion. See on over here. Really, really good. <laughs> really good indeed. You will be basically the scion of a fallen empire. Which means that you're a subject of a fallen empire. Being a subject of a fallen empire is really good. You will be super OP in the beginning. It's basically like having a sugar daddy in space. So, Sion is actually really good. And you don't need to go independent ever. You can just keep being their little baby until the day the galaxy explodes it's really really cool indeed i will like pick this one if it's my first time so Zion is really good uh, but because we want to actually like teach you 
the basics without being a, the slave of someone else, we are actually going to go for Mechanist. Mechanist, really good. You can actually choose other ones. Post-apocalyptic is really good too. Syncretic Evolution, I do not recommend it for your first time at all. Like, at all. Remnants is another one that is good. Really, really good. It's interesting. It's easy to understand. And you start with a couple of good technologies. After that, Void Dwellers, do not touch this if it's your first time. True Alive Dawn, Galactic Dust, never. Shattered Ring, it's kind of cool, but no. Common Ground, never touch this. If it's your first time, do not touch that at all. Calamitous Speed, do not touch that. Do not touch this one. On the shoulders of the Giant, it's good, but not necessarily. Doomsday, stay the hell away from this if it's your first time playing. It's not going to be pretty. Necrophage, you're not going to understand how it works. Well, you could if you actually like follow up tutorial, but I don't recommend it. Clone Army, really good, but not necessarily good. Here with Dragons, actually, this is really, really interesting, if you ask me. Like, really, really interesting. Mm. But not necessarily. Subterraneans, do not pick this one. The freaking. Oh my god. The species trait Cave Dwellers is damaging. Cave Dweller trait is damaging because of the biological pop growth speed minus 20%. A lot of minus percent of freaking biological speed. Really, really not necessarily good. It's actually super negative. Progenitor Hive, you don't need Ocean Paradise, really good, but don't, don't pick this one. It's launching to the stars, don't pick this one. Teacher of the Shroud. <sighs> yes, it's good. But not pick it up in your first time. Imperial Fifth, do not pick this one up. You will not understand. Overturn. Kinda cool, but you need to understand how to modify your species. Really cool, but you actually know how to do that. Knights of the Toxic God, really good. Really good in the sense that it's a more of a storytelling thing. Really interesting. Payback. Do not pick this one up. <laughs> Your first time, you don't want this. You don't want Broken Shackles either. Fear of the Dark. Mm, you don't want this one too. Under one rule. You don't like this one either. Fruitful Partnership. Really cool. Not, don't pick it up right now. Rift work. You can actually like this one really. A lot. But better go for the basics. So Mechanist. For your first time is the best. And because of that, you know how it goes. Fanatic Cinephile, this, and just pick Oligarchy. Go for, like we said before, but now you have a lot more of Civics, as you can see from the other game, for the base game, like a lot of them now. Um, you want to actually pick, like I would say, Technocracy, and then go for. Well, actually, there is actually a couple good, good ones here, okay? Like a couple that are really good. Uh, Relentless Dudes release. Kinda cool, but not necessarily good for your first time. You will not understand how to use it. Mutagenics Pass, don't pick it up. So just go for me me Meritocracy again. And then you will pick something else in the future. But for now, like in the other video that I did without the DLC, just go Technocracy, Meritocracy, and Oligarchy. That should be okay, okay? Uh, well, advisor boys, please do pick the one you like the most. We all have the makings of greatness in us. No great advance is made without great sacrifice. Let's go with the Technocrat because it's really cool. And then, yeah, whatever name you want, flag, whatever. This one, you will pick whatever you want. In this case, Aquatic because the ships look beautiful. They look really beautiful. Look at that design. And then, what ruler? Name it. Leave it like this. And then, well, you will want to have, like the last one, we're going to go straight for a commander, scientist, and spark of genius. That's the one you want. I for talent is good, but keep the spike of genius so you can have more research. This is your beautiful empire right now. Incubators, which is really cool. Deviants, weak, and intelligence. Fanatic, xenophile, materialist, meritocracy, technocracy. Gonna be a good will. So, having done that, let's get a bit everything like it was before. Only that this time, though, you have the Caravaneers, Yelgate, and Xeno compatibility. Also, you will have, if I'm not mistaken, where are they? It should be over here, right? Let me see. Marauders, Marauders, Marauders. They should be somewhere around here. Ha! Ah, Marauder Empires. Here it is. Leave it at two. If you have the Marauders Empire. Uh, it's gonna be fun, trust me. Then, hit play. And here we are. First Empire. Take a look at it. And because we have done all of that, here you have. Your beautiful empire, first empire you will ever play. Fanatic Sinful, materialist, intelligent, incubators, weak, and deviants. Like I say, deviants. Not a problem at all. Leave it like that. And well, 
In this case, we started here. Well, this has been the little Stellaris thing that we that we are going to do right now, okay? And because you are you are freaking, uh, you started with the origin of mechanism, you already have actually the power exoskeleton and robotic workers. Two techs, just from the get go. It's really good. And like we say, worker pop resource output plus five percent, so that negates the minus two point five percent of the weak trait. So you are already on the winning side. See, and on the pop growth uh, side of things. Remember that because they are incubators, they will have minus 10% growth when there is a lot of people living in the same planet. Well, take a look at this deck. Pop growth speed 10% immediately. You already negate the negative effect. Yeah, you will not have a surplus. You will not have a plus when the when a when a when a planet is full full of people. But still, pop growth speed 10% <laughs> done. And then, well, all of these beautiful things, but we're going to discuss them in another moment. Right now, Empire Capital, as you can see. Well, I'm going to explain this more in detail next time, of course, but just to show you. Population, workers, robots. Robots in the mines, robots in the farms. You will have robots technicians <laughs> later in a later date. And then, in the future, we're going to talk about clerks, okay? They are like a, like a, like a, like something that you like and don't like at the same time. Okay, so that being done, I wanted to welcome you to the world of Estelaris. You have created your own empire. You might have basically followed this guide. You might not, which is totally fine. You can do whatever you want. It's your game after all. It's your playthrough. But it's like the most comfortable experience I can offer. With all the DLCs on. I will say. This is. The perfect starting. The perfect starting point for someone who's just. Getting into the game. And of course. Because. We have all of that. Then we're gonna talk about other things. Like for example. The rights of the species. And go for living standards. We're gonna go for academic privilege. But that is something. To talk about. Another day. So, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. I hope you had a blast. I was the Lost Chevalier, signing out. Bye-bye.